Hello everybody and welcome to the video. This is Dolphin. Today guys we're on a video about Summoner's War. Today we're gonna talk about the Water Aver, the new unit, the new Assassin's Creed unit. Uh, she has some uh, threshold you need to achieve for the passive to work properly. So we're gonna talk about that. I'm gonna give you tips on what the threshold... Well, I'm gonna tell you what the thresholds are. are and I'm gonna give you tips on how to run her. I do not have her, but I have... Uh, <clears throat> I've seen her build and I've seen her working with the passive so if you are wondering what stats you need for the passive because she has a passive but it's a three parts passive so she needs three thresholds to be achieved in order for the passive to fully work and it's pretty important for the passive to work because uh, she received 30% less damage she uh, does 100% extra damage and she actually strip uh, one of the part of the passive she can strip each hit so it's pretty pretty important guys before getting to the video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already it's free and support the channel a whole lot guys so if you can please it's a button it will really really help um all right i feel like whether it might be one of the best uh, assassins creeds unit that we have right now uh i mean obviously i'm pretty sure at least they're all gonna get a little tweak uh probably not this summon sorry <laughs> this balance patch because it just came out and the balance patch should hit around the 20th of this month uh or probably after rta is finished uh but right now i think water Evil might be one of the better units she's pretty solid uh really good bruiser if you're using bruiser teams definitely good she has a strip every time she moves she has multi-hit so she can strip multiple buffs uh, she has um, dots, she has decent damage. Uh, as I said, the passive allow her to receive 30% less damage. There's like a water mine, a wind mine here, 35, well, 30% only. 100% uh, extra damage, and uh, she can strip. So I think she might be one of the most solid assassin, Assassin's Creed unit right now. That's what I were. These are the base stats. Um, nothing too insane, but pretty solid. I mean, the base HP is a bit just average base attack and defense are not bad at all sorry at all uh, base speed is one of three now i would say you go violent will on her uh, is she violent proc she can strip even more but she also has a defense break here so if she lands defense break and proc into skill free she's gonna do a lot to damage and you're gonna have dots so pretty interesting unit and um pretty nice passive as i said um there it is. Attack power increases the damage dealt to enemies by 100%. Defense decreases the damage received from enemies by 30%. Attack speed remove one beneficial effect granted an enemy with a 70% chance with skill ups. The 70% chance of stripping is pretty good and she has multi hit so yeah not bad at all not bad at all. Now what are the stats she should achieve? I am pretty sure. I checked on reddit uh, I watch uh, people using her and Obabo is the main player that is using her in very high ranks. Uh, I read eight, 850 attack is enough, but I think she needs more than 900. Around 900 uh, should be, well, 850 should be good, but I'd say I think it's around 900. Defense is a 950, I'm pretty sure. Which is 950, uh, sorry, 960 defense, 960 plus 960 defense, and uh, the speed is one, plus 145. So speed is probably not gonna be that hard to achieve. And if I were to build that, I would need that to be faster than 145. But plus 145 should be achievable um, for a lot of people. Because if you think about it, slot two already 42, and then you need a hundred out of five slots. I mean, if you're really early game, it's gonna be hard, but otherwise you should be able to. Uh, and then plus 950 defense and plus um, 850 attack. Apparently, I think it's over 900 attack that you need. But yeah, uh, obviously, if you have good runes, you can go speed crit raid HP, and then go crit damage lines on the artifacts, and she's gonna do pretty good damage because she has 100% extra damage. If you cannot achieve the threshold with the crit rate slot 4, you can go speed HP attack, speed HP defense, and then attack. Um, sorry, speed HP attack. Uh, yeah, speed HP attack, speed attack. 
I mean, overall, doesn't matter what slot, what, what uh, slot four, slot six you get, as long as you get the fresh shield. Again, if you go a speak rate, rate HP or tax slot six, whatever gives you the best outcome. Uh, try to go crit damage lines. If you don't, uh, I think additional damage lines are pretty good because she has two hits here and three hits here. The additional damage line are not bad. The additional damage by attack, HP, uh, defense, and speed are pretty good. Uh, Bunny Will, I think, is a better option. She procs, she strips more, she does more damage, she can defense spray. That's pretty good. Uh, obviously, as well, try to get some accuracy on her because she needs accuracy for the defense spray. She needs the accuracy for the dots. I mean, the dots is not as important, although sometimes dots are actually pretty clutch. Um, but mostly for the defense break and the strip, she needs accuracy. So try to get some accuracy on her. I don't think she's super easy to build, but uh, I think it's achievable, especially the speed is pretty easy to get. Uh, attack and defense, attack probably, defense. I mean, the base stats are pretty good though, so you should be able to get it. Uh, I've seen her on Valiant Will, honestly, that's the only way I've seen her. Uh, I think Vampire could work, but then on Vampire she gets CC'd, it's just the end of it. So I feel like Valiant is the better option, she procs out the stun, but I, again, if the enemy has immunity and you have able, she procs, she can strip a lot of buffs, because she has 5 hits, so that's pretty good. Uh, skill 2 is on a free 10 cooldown as well, which is not bad. It's just dots. Besides the dots, it's free hits though, so she's gonna do more damage. Let's say, yeah, as I said before, your defense break into skill 3, it's gonna be a lot of damage. I think overall, right now, is the most uh, solid unit out of the Assassin's Creed. I mean, Dark and Light Aver look pretty good, but the Light and Dark. <laughs> so it's gonna be hard to get them. Other units, I don't know, the Cassandras look really underwhelming. Uh, Bayek is... Actually, Bayeks are pretty interesting. Ezio's are like too low base speed for them to work, in my opinion. Uh, so I think overall, the Eivors... The Eivor family is the better one, in my opinion. And the Water Eivor is actually... I mean, the more, the easier to get. Not easy to get, easier to get, um, and I think uh, it's pretty solid bruiser. And this meta as well, meta is weird, so I think she's pretty good. But yeah, those are the threshold. Uh, plus, I think it's plus 900 something here on the attack. Definitely plus 960 on the defense, and then plus 145 on the speed. Um, so you make her pretty, pretty good. Plus 20 k HP if you can. And then go crit rate if you cancel four otherwise just go full stats guys that's gonna be it for the video i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you on the next one bye bye buddy take care guys stay safe bye